This video is brought to you by Reset Games. At ResetGames.com, you can buy, sell, or trade new and used games from all eras of gaming. You can see trade-in values instantly, trade-in for credit or cash, and all of the bags for shipping your games will be provided at no charge. From PlayStation 3 all the way back to the old school Nintendo, Reset Games will have the titles that you are looking for and so much more. So check them out on their website at www.ResetGames.com and tell them that BCS Buster sent you. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Paladin's Quest. Last time, in a shocking turn of events, we suddenly made our way back to the equator, right after getting the last um, item of Kormu, so that's pretty cool. And now Daphne's back with us, so let's see what Daphne has to say now that we've returned with everything she's asked us. Uh, Mischief Maker? Come on! <clears throat> I only destroyed the world. Not that bad. Of course we're too late. Why wouldn't we be on time? What could possibly be worse than the end of the world? Uh, I have a feeling I know where this is going, BCS Universe. Yes, Zygos. Uh, I had a feeling that was going to be the uh, person that Daphne was talking about. Oh man, he controls Sasquatch. We better go stop him. Noigrin? Oh, I see. So it's like a uh, imitation Dalgren. Let me guess, there's only one person that can stop him, and that's me. Duh! This is a video game. Oh, okay, but I've got the items of Cormu, so we can definitely do that. <coughs> okay, but we gotta stop Neugren before Duh. What difference does it make? They're both gonna destroy the world. Uh, if you say no, you just have to go through the dialogue again, so. Alright, and we need to go to Sasquatch. Neugren. D grin? Who the hell is that? Uh, let's see. Guts? Well, maybe. I mean, if this was Earthbound, I'd rely on my guts. But no, we'll take core moves. Yeah. Uh, okay. And now we get to go into a tunnel to find... to Sasquatch. Alright. Yeah, I remember that those people were, uh, pretty mad at us from before. Alright, now the guard moves out of the way and we can enter this tunnel. Uh, we all good to go? Yep. Well, let's go. Hey. Oh, I have to go through a little cave. Uh, of course I do. So, well, there must be not, in, not be any monsters here, because, you know, that one guard, surely... Okay, how does this make sense? We have these monsters in this cave, and they could have just come and invaded uh, Daphne's area. Is that one spiritualist that's guarding the, uh, the door so strong that... Um, that he can, you know... Whoop all these guys? If so, I want to take that guy with me on my team. Anyways, we got some new enemies here. The G-Whip. And those land pods from before. So it's the same strategy. You just want to uh, take out the groups of enemies first. And we'll have Chesney nuke everybody on screen. And hopefully that will destroy those land pods. There we go. Oh, it did get some good damage against those G-Whips, too. Okay, well, let's bolt G this one, and bolt a uh, break S that one, and let's reestablish freeze, and let's, there you go. There we go. Yeah, not bad. And this probably won't deal too much damage, but I wanted to get my affinity up, so, okay. Well, let's, oh, they're both frozen. Perfect. And, okay, let's just use that. And you know, I've already frozen him, so yeah, gauntlet sure and battle the battle count or battle whatever that is. These G whips are pretty much big, bigger versions of those whippers that we met earlier. So uh, oh, why did I use fire G? I should use fire S. Oh well. Uh, okay, so I some fire S and bolt S. Sure. So they can poison you and with you a couple times and for some damage, but nothing <coughs> nothing that we can't handle. Finish him. There we go. Nice job. Yeah, 162 experience, not bad. But yeah, so I don't understand how these enemies couldn't just go in and, you know, overthrow Daphne. That doesn't make sense. But anyways, we get a Globo. I think Rain had, or, um, 
not rain. Um, Wild had that earlier. So let's equip that on Midia and see how much damage that increased her. Yeah, 136. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, let's go with it, because I know it hits everybody. Alright, very good. None of that's really going to matter, because I'll probably end up using Bolt G to uh, destroy groups of enemies. But, it's a new weapon, and I like new things. Except new enemies. And we have a bunch of them here. We got some rocks, and we got some stickies to deal with, so let's go ahead and freeze the big group. Let's take out these stickies first. Because we know the red rocks can't do any real physical damage unless they explode. I'm melting! Ah! Yeah. You yeah, know, it didn't really do too, too much damage there. Alright, there we go. Good shot. Hopefully we can freeze most of these things. We got one of them. Uh-oh. They're getting angry! Well, we better heat them up some more. Alright, let's bolt G. Let's freeze and go fast, Joe. By the way, I think if these things explode, you don't get any experience for them. So you want to take them out as quickly as possible. I think I got one of them. And unfortunately, heat's the only spell right that we have right now that can hit every enemy. And because we have two different groups, we want to take advantage of that. Man, these things are not going down. We're just making them mad. Okay, well, this is not going as well as I wanted it to, but that's okay. We'll, um, let's see if we can't, okay, let's try the demon whip. Maybe it's just physical attacks that these guys can't handle. Okay, we got two of them, pretty good. Man, they're just, we're just sitting here pissing them off. Hey, this battle usually takes a little while. Okay, there we go. 48, not bad. Okay, so Fast Joe is pretty much useless. Alright, well, let's go ahead and fire G, Bolt G, Freeze, and. What was that? And Fast Joe, you're gonna. Sw what does the Actors Cloak do? Ugh, that's what I didn't want to have happen. Yeah, see, I lost experience for that, and they exploded all over my face. So, neither of those situations is ideal. But that's okay. I need to sell some of my equipment. I'll do that uh, when I get to the next town. All right. Next thing we want to do is head... Let's see. If we head down this way, we'll find a healing pool, but I don't really care about that. But I, we will take on some of these new enemies here. Shakers. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and bolt G. Bolt G. Meanwhile, you'll freeze the G-Whip. And we'll take out these Shakers. And these shingles are, yeah, so same attacks as before. They can just hit multiple enemies. Ow! That really hurt! Man, he was like a little bobblehead doll. Action going on there. Or maybe look, he looked like one of those um, things from the Mega Man series that, you know, those little things that you couldn't really hit, but they would hit you, and then those slinky type things that would go back and forth. You may have no idea what I'm talking about, BCS Universe, and if you don't, I apologize. Sometimes my, uh, sometimes my, um, analogies don't make a whole lot of sense, but, well, story of my life. Yeah, you just, there you go, good shot there, Chesney. And, I'll break S action there, you were doing better. Oops. Break S. And bolt S, and there we go. That free spell is really useful when the affinity gets really high. Oh! Now you've got a uh, amount of good old and experience. And we got levels for both Chesney and Fast Joe. Excellent. Like I said, you can go to a healing pool down there if you want, but I don't really care about that. Alright, so let's go down this way. And down here. That's more of those red rocks to deal with, so I just left. Because I don't like dealing with those things. And we get an S sweat. I think that... I can't remember what that does. Uh, I'll use it off screen to get five points. And When I do get five points, I'll show you what it does. All right. And hopefully we're almost out of this cave, but not before fighting some new enemies. Dash crabs. Now these things, they can hit you for multiple 
uh, multiple attacks. So we want to take them out pretty quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that was just a single attack there, so that's good. We'll take these things out as quickly as we can. So let's heat them up. That's pretty good. Yeah, see, there's that attack that they can hit you multiple times. So I don't want to, uh oh, freeze didn't work. That's not good. Hopefully we finish them. Yep. Okay, good. Ow! Past. All right. Well, let's bolt G to get our affinity up with those. Uh, you need to use Sophie's crown and freeze and battle count. All right. Nope. Oh, oh, he paralyzed me. Well, that sucks. <clears throat> That's all right. Okay, and let's do some break S and gauntlet and battle count. I'm not sure which does more damage, the bolt S or the. <clears throat> Looks like it's about the same. Okay, uh, can we heal up? Yeah, let's go ahead and heal up Chesney there so we can get rid of his paralysis and some bolt S. And there we go. <clears throat> and we'll heal him up. Yay! He's back to normal. Because, you know, Chesney can do 100 damage, so. Well, of course, we killed him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And we gain a level for Mean Ma there. So our Mad Mother can now live longer. Yay. Okay, and I believe this is the exit of the cave. Why wouldn't I have to face another random battle before leaving the cave? cave? But I did get another level for Midia. Ah, uh, now we're back in Sasquat. Oh, I'm familiar with this place. So let's head down this way. <clears throat> and, ah, there's the next town. But, oh crap! <clears throat> Bunch of new. Well, actually, these are all the same enemies. But I don't think I have um, a way to deal with them all successfully. So, um, you know what? I'm actually going to run. And uh, there's, a, there's a special reason for that, because I really want to get to the town. Because we'll be able to get some. Well, I'll, I'll explain when we get there. Okay. And a rope network station, but we can't really use that. And we have arrived in the town of Masuto. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we got an inn, so let's go stay at the inn. That will be nice. Hey, oh, wait, I remember this area. Everybody lives in trees, so you got to go two extra screens before you can do anything. That's really annoying. Hey. Oh, don't even let me stay in the rough huts. Dang. Well, that sucks. I can't even sleep with the pigs. <clears throat> How the heck am I going to restore my HP? Oh, well. <clears throat> All right. Let's keep exploring the town. Now, there isn't really a whole lot that we can do here. Like, the weapon store doesn't really um, have a whole lot there. Oh, and apparently Nasquat will be destroyed. That's not good. But, <clears throat> we can't enter this now. I definitely want to enter this area. <clears throat> I'm sorry, BCC, just for my cold. Because I believe there's a new spirit we can learn here. Yes, and we can finally learn the air spirit. And this is crucial. All right. I want to do this. All right. And especially for Midia. Now, let's check out our affinities here. Okay, so we have three to work on. We have Sky, Light, and Air to work on with Chesney. So we'll do that. And I believe I only have two to work on here. Yes, I only have Sky and Air to work on here. And that's perfect. Okay. Now, I want to rearrange some of my magic, and I'll show you what exactly I'm going to do. Because I now have my probably my favorite spell in the game, the Berry Spell. And this is probably the number one offensive spell I'm going to be using for most of the rest of the game. It's an awesome spell. Uh, we each gain five new spells. I guess let's uh, I guess let's go over some of those spells. Um, let's see. We got bury. Yeah, bury the enemy alive. It does a ton of damage, and we'll go over that here in a little bit. Uh, let's see. We'll be using some. Well, actually, I think the other one is. Uh, let's see. What's S K A? It's warp. So that uh, warp is the same thing as a home door. So that can't really help us, but uh, Bolt G can, and actually Bolt A can, because Lightning is on all enemies. So we want to keep, we're going to want to keep both of those spells handy. So let me, uh, uh, and well, actually, because Barry will be for A, because I'll probably be using Barry a lot. Well, actually, I'm going to keep Bolt A on standby just in case I run into a weaker group of enemies. So put that there, and this is going to be the four spells I'm going to be using mostly with Midia. 
um, are these four spells right there. Okay, now let's check out Chesney. Now we had Sky, Light, and Air to work with. So let's check out some of those spells. Okay, Sky and Light, we know is Bolt G, so we want to keep that one handy. And the new spells, we could use Bolt A, or we could use Fire A. So that'll probably be the one I'm going to use to build up his Fire Affinity. So a little Fire A, and a little Bolt G. But we still want to keep blow, uh, Heat on standby, because that can do a good amount of damage to everybody. So let's go ahead and get that magic in order. And actually, believe it or not, <clears throat> I think Midi becomes a more impressive offensive character at this point in the game. And we're going to keep Fire S on standby for single damage. And we'll keep Bolt A on standby just in case. Okay. And actually, no. Let's... Sorry. Let me put my order around. Hang on a minute. Now we want to get... Uh, well, actually, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. This is, this is all good. Okay. So, and I'll, and I'll demonstrate the berry spell here in just... Well, actually, I'll have an opportunity to do that here in just a little bit. All right. Now, let's see. What else can we do while we're here? Oh, there's a woman named Joyce that lives here. Uh, no. But Joyce belongs to you, eh? Well, what if I do plan to? Well, what are you going to do about it, you little punk? Wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They really think that we smell. That doesn't make sense. Okay, there's the bakery. We're not going to go in there just yet. Okay, let's see. We want to go to... Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Okay, we want to go to... Let's see. Um, we want to go... Up here. That's what I want to do. I'm going to turbo mode past this. We just got a little house here. Let's see what you have to say. Oh. Well, give me a crowbar then. But I'll take a G milk, a Gubo's milk instead. Like I said, I'll use both those items off screen. Um, <clears throat> probably use them before the next episode. Actually, I'll use them right as the next episode is started. So okay, let's turn them right here. And I believe there's one more thing that we can do. If we go up here and talk to this trash can, we get an air card. Don't know why the air card's in the trash, but it is. Okay, there's something else left to do in this town, but go here and talk to Joyce. So let's do that. Oh, we have nice happy music. Well, that's refreshing for a change. Hi, Joyce. Uh, yes, we are. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long journey. Um, nah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, we would like that indeed. So yeah, she gives you a free health, and she fills your bottles. That's awesome. Oh, she's going to tell us how to mask the smell. Perfect. All right. Oh, a green called Kiowa. All right. All right, that sounds like a good plan. I'm excited about that. All right. Well, we'll have to... Uh, do that in the next episode, so let me just get out of here, and then we will um, get ready to head to that cave. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Hey, what? Huh? Zoran attacked us! Alright. Well, let's just use the opportunity to show off some of our new spells. A little fire A there, but more importantly, bury. And you'll just defend, and you'll just defend. Because I want to make sure we get this off. Ooh! Man, those evil fiery things are all across the screen. I love the dude so well. <laughs> Woo! Look at that damage! Woohoo! He called it a draw. <laughs> okay. What I actually want to do now is I want to take some time and I really want to build my affinities to, to air for a little while with Midia because I want to build up her berry spell and get it rocking and rolling. Um, because she can do some a lot of damage um, if we can get this thing going. So, like I said, I want to, uh, this is a fantastic place to do some level grinding because all you uh, you can get free bottles and free um, restore of your health by just coming here and seeing Joyce. Uh, so you basically get a free instay and building up one of my, the most powerful affinities in the game. So I'll tell you, I'll show you one battle here so I can show you how just how effective Barry really is. Right, well, come on, random battle. I believe I actually want to get into a random battle. There we go. Okay, this is a good opportunity to show off these skills. We've got a T-Rex. And we've got uh, some flying enemies. Now, the flying enemies cannot be affected by a uh, berry, unfortunately. But, doesn't mean we can't take him out. Alright. Hehehehe. <laughs> yeah, you take out those T-Rexes. Woohoo! 
169 damage on each of them? That's badass. What the hell just happened here? Oh, he tried to randomly cast Confuse on all of us. Hey, we got all three of them. Good job, Mima. Let's nuke all these bad boys. You're not bad. Huh. Nice. That'll work. That'll work quite nicely. Uh, I didn't really expect to do that, but okay. Now, the thing about Barry is it takes a lot of, of HP to use, but that's okay. And Fast Joe, you take out those. There. And we'll freeze that one. Bolt G to build my affinity there. All right. Now look at that damage, man. I'm just taking some major ass here. Oh, he didn't hit him himself? Stupid. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna... The other good thing about, though, about, um, Barry, though, is that we can use Sophie's crown to heal her, um, when we're almost done, so... If she can get it off. Which is really nice. And she didn't that time, but that's okay. But yeah, good amount of experience there. So I'm gonna take this opportunity and do some level grinding here. Probably get up to about level 31 or so. Build up some affinity with the air spirit, and then we'll move on. But can we find the Kiowa and finally get rid of our nasty stench? You're going to have to wait until next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, and take care, y'all.